Shalom to everyone. Over the next couple of weeks, I want to be discussing two of the six mitzvos tmidios, the six constant mitzvos, two of which are avas Hashem, the love of Hashem, and yiras Hashem, the fear. We are commanded, as the Rambam writes in Hilchos Yesodei HaTorah, hakel hanichbad v'hanorah hazeh, this honored and wondrous and awesome God, mitzvah le'ahavo uliyara oso. There's a mitzvah to love him and a mitzvah to fear him, to have awe for him. Shenemar, the proof texts, v'yahavta es Hashem alokecha, we are commanded to love God. And it says, es Hashem alokecha tira, we're commanded to fear God. How is it possible that we're expected to exhibit emotions on command? How, we understand that we can be commanded for actions. We can attach a mezuzah, we can light candles for Shabbos, we can sit in a sukkah. But how are we commanded to love and to fear? So the Rambam in the next halacha provides a formula. What is the path to this love and fear? Says the Rambam, when man contemplates the actions, the creations, the amazing things that God has done in creation, the universe, the vast infinite universe, by a creator so great, we can't even begin to fathom his greatness. Says the Rambam, You see this infinite wisdom, you immediately love, mishabeach, you praise, mifa'er, you glorify, you have a tremendous desire to know this great God. A person wants to be connected to greatness in some way. A teenager will work very hard to be a water boy or a dressing room cleaner for the favorite baseball or football team or the favorite singer that they idolize. People pay hundreds of dollars just to be in the stadium for a Super Bowl or a World Cup event. Even where they sit, they can't see as well as they would on their home TV. But being there connects them. And serving that superstar connects them. Because we want to be connected to greatness. We view it as an opportunity to serve greatness. So when we spend time, when we spend time deeply contemplating the world, nature, galaxies, atomic and subatomic particles, when we look at history, when we look at biological complexities, we truly develop a sense of the greatness of the Almighty, of the creator of this world, and that greatness generates within us, or is supposed to generate within us, a desire to connect to that greatness, to know more about that greatness. As the Rambam writes, Leida Hashem Hagadol. When we love a spouse, greater knowledge of the spouse is enhanced by getting to know them better. And the love of HaKadosh Baruch Hu, the love of Hashem, is enhanced when we get to know God better through contemplation of His creations, as well as the study of his Torah, which also gives us a window to the greatness of God. The Ramchal in Derech Hashem in section 1, chapter 4, he elaborates with a similar formulation. The Ramchal writes, choshek liot mina ovdim lefanav. A person should desire, should have a strong drive to be one of those who serves God. Lihit alel lato to glorify in His glory and to praise in His praises. His language reflects the idea that we look to serve one that is considered great, like a devoted to schlep a heavy suitcase and clean the dressing room of the superstar. But that same teenager would recoil if a parent asked them to do the same thing at home. When your team wins, you're out there bragging about how great your team is. And you feel good when other people praise the one you idolize. Choshek ul 
This is a metaphor that both the Rambam and the Ramchal provide. Appreciate greatness and you will develop a love, striving to deepen the connection, looking for opportunities to serve, but it requires thought, it requires contemplation, and it requires the most important element in any relationship if we want to develop that loving relationship with God. And that element is time. We have to be ready to spend the time thinking about these things, the time developing a relationship and enhancing the love of God. The Ramam then continues to the second half of the mitzvah, and that is the mitzvah of fear and awe. And the Rambam writes that that exact same contemplation that led us to the love of God, the greatness that we witness in this Creator, says the Rambam, those same things that you were contemplating, the vastness, the greatness of nature, the galaxies, history, this infinite Creator, the contemplation in those exact same things, who near to le'achorav, it generates a reaction of recoiling. Yifached, you, you are fearful. afela. You are a little tiny speck. You are so lowly and so dark in your confusion compared to the infinite wisdom of God that you are omeret bedat kalam mu'ata lifnei tmim deot. You stand with this light-headed, almost nothingness in your intelligence compared to this infinite wisdom of God. And he quotes the Pesach. The Ramchal says very much the same thing, that a person is, uh, leads to fear through exactly the same process as love. Now the Rambam and the Ramchal here are speaking about fear in the sense of Yirat HaMalchut, the awesomeness of the Creator. We are, in the next couple of Shi'ur, I'm going to speak about fear, when we think of fear, fear of punishment, and the relationship that exists between love, which is always outwardly directed, and fear, which is only inwardly directed. We will be elaborating on these concepts in our relationship with God, and then we will see how these play out in our relationship with our spouses and with other people also.